Welcome, great travels to our first um, development for 2021. Now, just first, Keris mentioned this, and I just want to um, uh, repeat what she said. Solid geometry, the previous chapter we did, focused on cutting a solid, as the title implies, um, somewhere through the solid, where development is usually a hollow structure where we fold the pipe, if I can put it that way, open so that we can see how the pipe sh should have looked like if you cut it out of a metal sheet and put it together to get the shape in the first place. So that's the idea. But it, it feels like the same drawing, especially in the beginning, and you'll see what I mean. So for page 74, we have already copied the picture. So we've got the top view and the front view. And the first question is, is to draw the top view. We did this. This is just copy and pasting. So next step is to go and complete the front view. So they want to know how this development looks like from a side view and we'll have to add the hidden detail. So first step, uh, that's very important, let's go and number our picture. Now since according to the question this is point A, I'm going to stick with the same numbering. Then we can either go clockwise or anti-clockwise. I would say let's just go clockwise and make it the next corner B, C, and D. I'm going to. So we're doing this so that we can finish the front view. Um, I'm not going to number the other prism since I don't think we'll actually focus on it. It's only on, on this S prism here as they call it. But now what is, what's important is to take this numbering to the top view. So see if you agree with me. This is then A. If I take the lines up. This is then C. And then this is B and D behind each other. Now, to start the process, let's just first extend these lines as construction um, all the way down so that we can connect them together. And by the way, this is just recap on last year. Um, we'll see in tomorrow's lesson um, what is added this year and what we d what's going to be added this year is uh, a circle. So actually a cylindrical pipe, not just a square or he hexagonal pipe. Now what I, what I started teaching myself is top view, if I was standing, so this is me, let's, let me just quickly draw myself. So if I was standing next to the front view and I was a really small person, I would be, I'm there, okay? Now I'm going to put myself in front of the um, solid, but from a top view perspective. So this is me again, but now you can just see my head and my arms and my feet, and I'm, you're looking at me from a top view. So I'm looking from this side. Now, what we can see from this side is line B, A, and C, because D will be hidden behind it. So we'll focus on D, the hidden detail, a bit later. Okay, just so that you can follow along. So if I'm looking at the picture, B goes all the way to the edge, so it stops there. So I'm just going to use my... I'm using a pen just to make it more clear. But this is line B. Now for A and C. A and C we project upwards. And then where they cross, you make dots. So there's A and there's C. So if you complete the front view, well, almost, we still have to add the hidden detail. There's our picture. Okay, there's the picture. But they will obviously ask the hidden details as well because they want to see what happened to line D at the back. Now, since this is just a recap drawing, um, you'll notice that it's quite easy to um, follow where D ended. D goes up and crosses there. 
But now, what's difficult between what's difficult between the edge of A to D and A to C is there is a corner we have to keep in mind. There is no corner here. There's a corner there. Let me show you here. So there's a corner there. No corners here. So we have to keep that corner in mind. So if you want to draw the back picture, you put D there. Okay, that's where D is. But then take it to the corner itself. Like this, because it wraps around the corner. And there we go. Okay, so just that's just something you have to remember from last year. You have to wrap that corner um, around, but you'll see this more clearly as soon as we develop so we haven't done the development yet we have just completed the front view so now the front view is done all right now for the development they only want us to develop this part okay the the part that we so not the larger prism just a small prism and we're gonna we can use any part of the um, leftover page to answer this so I'm going to draw a straight line here. That's just easier. So from there downwards. And the length of the line must be the length of the square if we fold it open. And if you think about it, if we fold it open, it is 30 millimeters times 4. Because it is 4 sides. It's a square. So from there, 220. And I'm going to divide into 4 parts. So it's 30... 60, 90, 120. Good. Now, just to make provisions for our measurements, I'm just going to draw lines outwards. How far? I don't know yet. We will figure that out now. Okay, so anywhere we've got space left, you can draw this, just as long as the whole development fits in. Now, usually if they don't specify that there's a seam, you can open it up anywhere. But since they specified uh, make A, edge A, the seam, we have to start of A, numbering it there, A, B, C, D, and then A again. Why? Because A and A, when they come together, that's where the seam is going to be. Now how do we do it? We're going to do the easy part first. We go back to our front view. And we take our compass and we measure from the edge of A to where A stops the length. Okay, so from A to where, to where A stops. And then we translate it to our development. You could use a ruler as well and a pencil, but I just find this is easier just because it's like a ruler and pencil together. And you do it on both your A's. Now let's repeat the same thing for B. B is going to be uh, longer since it goes further on. And then we go to C. Then D, that's why we needed the hidden detail, because we need the distance of D as well. Almost done. Now before we connect them all together, we have to still keep in mind there's a corner. What I mean of the corner, if you look at your top view, there's a corner there. And this will also influence the shape of your image. So the corner, this, this is why the numbering is also important. From between A and D, that surface, there's a corner. And from D to C, there's also that corner. Now, we need to figure out what's the distance between A and D where that corner will uh, manifest itself. So, there's one of two ways you can do it. I'm just going to do it on the um, uh, top view since I have it ready to use. This is where your auxiliary view, this helping view, is really important. Now, I did it. On the right side of my page and then on the left, Kara is there on the left side, so her auxiliary is on this side. No problem, just as long as you have it. What is important, 
let's just number the auxiliary view accordingly. So this is D, A, C, and B. Now this is what you're going to do. That corner just project back to your um, auxiliary view. So in other words, now we've got... And why do we do this? Because we can't use this. This is not a true length of the shape. Same thing there. It's not the true length. This is the true length because we're looking at it at a 90 degree angle. So there's our distances. So now what we do is you take your compass. Now we can choose. Um, Keras, I would say just to make it easy, let's take it from A towards D we measure. Okay, from A towards D. You could have started from D towards A, as long as you just remember from where you started. So I started from A towards D. Okay, so now I'm going to put it on A towards D and make the same mark there. Okay, so that's why the numbering is important. You have to remember from which side you measure. Okay, next one. Um, what, do you, what do you say? D to C or C to D? Okay, C to D, so, and this should be the same length. Okay, so from C towards D, so I'm going to put it on C and move towards the letter D. Okay, so that's just something else you have to remember. Don't forget about your corners. Now I'm going to extend these two lines as well, these two marks. We'll get the measurements now. And the measurement we get from our top view here because it's between A and D and A and B so it's that distance from day to day so it's from A to where it touches the other solid itself so it's just that small little distance there and we can use it directly from the front view since it's a true shape oh, it's not a true shape it's a true length so we can use this just be careful, you can't just measure from anywhere, you have to be very sure that it's a true length. Now we put it here. Oh, yes, yes, sorry, sorry, thank you for correcting me. Yes, yes, sorry, sorry. It's between A and D, sorry, so it's this one. Yep, yep. That, okay, so double check yourself, thank you for correcting me. Okay, so it's here. Great trials, we are almost there. So we have A and D. There's A and D. It's a short it's a lot shorter. Okay, then C and D is at the bottom, it's a lot longer. So now we just measure again from year to year. And now we just put it in the right place from C to D there. Okay, so after we have added the corners as well, now we can go and draw our um, connect the lines. Now what you do is, I'm just using a pen to represent a dark line. Now we connect them together, just connect the dots. Important about the lines, I'll talk now about the lines, the folding lines. So for now, Keras and I, we're just doing the outlines of the picture. And then the only lines in the middle that you also darken is the actual folding line. So A, so B, C, D, and then also our two small um, corner folds. So just the actual fold as well. Because now what will happen, if I would have cut out this image and fold it up and paste A and A together, we will get this shape again. And it'll fit perfectly into the larger prism. Um, and th that's developments. The only thing that could be different from the question is they could have asked you to develop both the surfaces. So sometimes you have to develop only one the, or the other one. We'll see if we can do a question where we develop the other one as well. But this is then page 74. 
Tomorrow we'll then look at what happens if they add a circle to the mix. In other words, if it's a pipe, not just a prism. Thank you, Matrix. And we'll see you in tomorrow's class then. Bye.